Hey everyone, welcome back to the uh, second part of the Monster Hunter World Quick Look. Uh, I left the initial Quick Look with kind of a negative impression, which stemmed from me getting really overwhelmed. Uh, but I've gotten to play a few hours and acclimate to it on my own time and on my own terms, and I like it a lot. So today we are going to get me some materials to craft a new weapon by hunting a Puke Puke. Which is a big, kind of reptilian, poisonous, bird-ish monster? Uh, out in the ancient forest. So before we set off for the quest, we're gonna do our normal routine. Go up to the canteen. To the very cute chef cats. Uh, and we're gonna get our food buffs and all that. Now, I haven't gained, like immense expertise over the span of a couple of hours I've been playing, but I at least have a better understanding of the gameplay loop now and the controls and some other basic things. Uh, this is no status effects. I like the small attack up and go for it. I still don't completely understand how the food buffs work and the, like, the probability of activating them and what the beeline, uh, whatever our abilities are. <laughs> at the bottom, or like what the benefit of paying in points over Zenny is, but whatever. It's just some extra stats, so might as well do it. Seems like it's always worth it. Got an attack up. Uh, and we're ready to go and depart. There's also uh, what I've been doing for most of the hunts for new monsters I've come up against is going to the... Uh, the ecological research, which gives you information, uh, and it gives you more information about the monster that you're hunting once you've built up research points by tracking it or interacting with it a little bit. But I've already done a lot of uh, tracking with uh, Puke Puke because you come here and, and fight it pretty early on in like the main story. So I've already hunted a Puke Puke once. Stop in the supply box, grab uh, some free first aid med. I'm already full up on, on rations and antidotes and all that stuff, which is helpful because we're going to be dealing with poison status ailments. Oh, he improved. No, I wouldn't leave the palico behind. Where are the flies guiding me? I wasn't expecting to get any kind of guidance right off the bat, but I guess that's just because... Oh, oh, shit, that's cool. I've never done, like, a repeat hunt or an optional quest before, so it's always been, like, new monster after new monster. I didn't know this is how this worked. Once you have, like, tracked a monster enough for the first time, the next time that you hunt a brand new version of that one, uh, I guess the scout flies just start off automatically leading you to their tracks, which will eventually lead you to being able to track the monster. Uh, like, anywhere on the map once you encounter it. Oh, that's cool. And yeah, like I was saying, you build up, like, the, the research points, and if you go to the, the ecologic- Oh, hey, it's an Anjanath! You're really trying to mess my plans up real early on here. Uh, we're gonna have to kind of juke around him. Uh, but you can, you can discover information like weaknesses, uh, statuses that they're, they're weak to, what parts you can break. Uh, and what you can get off of them if you break certain parts. Uh, just by- Hey! Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Because we found the Puke Puke right away. But also, <laughs> there's an Anjanath right there and he's real pissed off. Uh, I've not yet fought an Anjanath, so I have no idea what you're all about. I think in the main story where I'm at, I'm I'm going up against like a Toby Kadachi, I think it's called, and then Anjanath after that. Uh, it would be really cool if that Anjanath, oh it, Puke Puke's going wherever the fuck he wants. Uh, it'd be cool if this Anjanath would just kind of snap him out of the sky and they infall a little bit. No, okay, Puke Puke's going way over here. Normally, they run away once you've done a bunch of damage to them, but I didn't even have time to start fighting him. Uh, so, part of what really helped, aside from just having some time to play on my own, 
uh, without feeling the need to keep the action moving and just not feeling that overwhelmed right off the bat. Is this the Insect Glaive? This is such a cool weapon. Let's see if we can... Yes! Fucking mounted him. Let's see if we can get a decent camera angle, because he's in a weird spot with a great Jagras. Okay, great. Great Jagras can't do shit while I'm up here. Immune. Now we have Slash Flurry after we stab him over and over and over and over again. Okay, we're gonna R2 his head. I don't think that quite caught the head. Didn't quite... No, it's hitting the wing. Okay, there it is. So yeah, the Insect Glaive. Oh, uh, I love this weapon. This thing is the coolest. Uh, it's a twin blade that you can vault off of on the ground and then do a bunch of air dashes and aerial attacks. And if you hit it just the right moment when you're in the air, it pops you back up. So you can just continue chaining that over and over like I did before. And then I landed that into a mount like where you grapple the monster and just stab it for pitiful little bit of damage. Over and over and over, they can kind of like buck and try to kick you off of them. Drain your stamina. Once that's out, uh, you'll fall off. But if you stab it enough, do a big stun, you'll get a lot of damage in. Ah, shit. Uh, so one thing that I know about Puke Puke is that its tail is a problem. Uh, I think it can shoot poison from the tail, but it also just has this really annoying tail whip. So I would like to cut that thing off and uh, cease that attack. Other than that, it seems that weak points all over. I think that's the orange damage number, is whenever you're hitting a vulnerable spot. And I don't think I can remount him for a little while, not until he runs away. Is that how that works? I'm not sure. Okay, he's gone. Still need to get that tail. I'm gonna sharpen my weapon. Uh, up in the top left, this is like, there is this huge glut of information in Monster Hunter World. Uh, and visually, it's very hard to process. Like, it's overwhelming at first when you're like, oh god, which of these UI elements do I pay attention to? Which one do I need to focus on? And you don't know what any of them are about. Uh, so from the top left, uh, the clock is like the 50 minutes or whatever you have to complete your hunt. Green is health, yellow is stamina. Really easy shit. Uh, but then, oh! God, that's so good. So he rammed himself into a vine, uh, into like a tangle of vines. That knocked me off for a second, but I have a grappling hook, so I got back on his back. Oh, this is so good. Uh, then right below stamina is how sharp your weapon is. Uh, and you can just sharpen that at any time with the infinite use whetstone, but it takes time. Uh, so I just resharpen that between phases. Okay, let's get that going. Uh, so the other thing about the insect glaive is that when you hit R2, it will mark a target and your kinsect, that little bug that's usually on your forearm, will start extracting essence from a monster. And there are all different colored essences that give you different buffs once the bug is done extracting. Uh, the red one, you can see that below the sharpness uh, gauge. Uh, when the bug is red, it's extracting red essence. When that diamond is red, it means it's brought it back to me and it's given me the red buff, uh, which enhances my offense. Gives me way, oh man, I need to get that tail. Uh, gives me way more hits, especially in the air. Like look how he just twirls around while doing that aerial attack. Uh, and then there's like that dynamic combo list on the, in the top right. Updates whenever you press a button to, for whatever follow-ups you have. So yeah, once you get a chance to really just play and learn the controls, it's, it's more intuitive than it seems at first. Because you don't really have to, to process all that much visual information once you understand uh, what is important and what isn't. But at first, it's just, it, it's, like I said, overwhelming. Because you don't know what you do and what you do not have to pay attention to. And really, in the midst of a fight, there is not all that much visual information from the UI that you really do have to focus on, which tripped me up before. See if we can ground him. 
Uh, that will also launch the Kinsec from afar. Like, the main thing that I'm looking at while fighting is usually just I'm glancing up the health, glancing at the stamina, make sure I'm not running dry. And then occasionally I'll glance at the Kinsec to make sure I'm getting the right essence. Uh, and depending on where on the monster you mark, you'll get a different type of essence. So it's normally... This is something Arth told me, God bless him. Uh, it's normally the head that you want to hit, uh, that you want to mark if you want the red essence. And everybody gave, like, such really wonderful feedback and understood where I was coming from in my initial impression and how, like, not particularly glowing it was and kind of understood where I was coming from as a newcomer to this entire series. Oh, Bouquet's getting... Swifty. Uh, oh, that's cool! Got him in midair. Oh, I love these air dashes. Can you tell the insect glaive was built for me? This is my weapon. It was built for me. <laughs> uh, I think Bouquet's either looking at the Palico or he's just chilling. So this is fine. Give me a chance to sharpen up. I think those those slivery flashes uh, are critical strikes based on the weapon's affinity stat. I, I'm still super uncertain. There's still so much of this game I don't completely understand. But now that I have that basic grasp, it doesn't feel as intimidating or as overwhelming. Uh, stamina's getting a little low. I don't need to eat a ration yet. Uh, the rations are what you consume once your maximum stamina uh, goes down, which will happen occasionally. I'm not sure what exactly governs that, if it's time or if it's like some kind of uh, cumulative usage. I don't know if this is going to work out. Going through here. Uh, it depends on whether or not I can climb to wherever. I think he's in his nest. Yeah, I can climb up here, but then can I go over to the left and continue climbing through that small path? Uh, where the hell is that? Is that above me? Ah, oh, shit. I really hope it's not eating. Uh, I, I was told that when monsters run away, the way that they recover their HP is either to eat or to sleep and they'll recover it very slowly if they sleep. Uh, so hopefully I catch up with him before he has a chance to do that. I think he's through here. Should be good. Maybe. Oh, I think he might be above me. I thought I, I could take some kind of shortcut and just climb. Uh, I should have just followed the scout flies. The really nice thing is, once a monster runs away, like, once you've found him in the first place, once you've tracked him down, you have a lock on that monster pretty much for the rest of your session. So reacquiring them is not a huge hassle. Uh, but this stage is kind of vertical. So I misjudged where he went. I hear him around though. And now I'm just following the scout flies. What the hell is that? Oh, just whatever pterodactyls. I don't know what they are. <laughs> oh, it's the nest up here. Looks like it got done eating. Ah, oh, it sucks. It's gonna regain some health. And this is really cool. Like, these fights are long and in depth, and they involve a lot of tracking, and you can set traps and stuff. But mostly, I just like. Playing these like straight up monster, like uh, Dark Souls esque monster boss fights. With a little character action flair, thanks to the wonderful ass insect glaive and this cool mounting mechanic. Isn't this just the most brutal, vicious thing? Like, it, I'm just shiving him in the neck or in the, the upper back over and over and over again. He's gonna try to get me off, but my stamina is. Lenny, it's holding. We just need that flurry soon. Ah! Uh, oh, he, he fell down without, uh, he, he toppled over without letting me get the blade flurry off. 
This is still fine. Like, I'm gonna get Mark on. I'm gonna get so much damage to the head. And this is how uh, you can tell that they are... I guess in D&D terms, you would call it bloodied. But they are on their, their last legs when they start limping like that. Makes it really easy to catch up with them, too. Except in the case of Puke Puke, who can fly. So he gets to get away more easily than some other monsters. Can we ground him? Oh, I think we... Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, let me that. Ah, oh, nice! Yeah. Since I spent some more time, especially with the insect glaive after that quick look, I've been having a lot of fun with Monster Hunter World. I, I really started to see the appeal of this series. Nah, I need to get up in that face. How am I not poisoned? Oh, it was his tongue. He wasn't spitting poison. I'm surprised I haven't gotten poisoned yet. It's gonna happen eventually, but we have a lot of antidotes for that. Oh, where are you going now? Why are you being so resilient? You going back up to the nest? This is fine. Uh, what we really want... We've broken a lot of parts of him. Uh, what we really want... The fuck is... Bomberry? No, 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 stop. <laughs> I was hitting circle to get that attack out. Uh, what we really want is a quill so we can make a, uh, puke puke insect clave with poison on it. Ah, damn it. Got away. This weapon is just my favorite thing. I've also been told good things about the charged hammer and the sword and shield, weirdly enough. Oh, come on. Where are you going? I don't understand you. I hate you. Okay, okay. Get back here. Are you flying off or are you actually going back to the nest again? I don't understand you. Okay, no. Wait. Okay, it's actually gone this time. It is actually flying to a new place. Ah, damn it. We had it limping. Oh, if I find this thing asleep. Also surprised we haven't run into a Rathalos yet. Uh, when I hunted Puke Puke in the main story quest, I eventually got caught out uh, in between a fight between him and, and uh, Big Rathalos. Okay, so you're... the hell? Is this, is this a zone I haven't really explored yet? Or is this just because of the verticality? Alright, wait a minute. Well, as long as it's managed to put this much distance between us, I may as well take the time and just do this. Oh, how good is it that there's no fall damage? How nice is that? Okay, that's a great Jagoras. I don't care about that. When did I... Oh, I ran into that thing a while back. I do not care about it. It's real low down on my priorities list. Got Anjanath tracks that I don't particularly give a shit about right now. Aw, tiny little Jagruses. I also do not care about it all. This seems like he might be looping back to where we fought that Anjanath initial or that where we encountered that initially. Which would not be convenient. <laughs> Unless the Anjanath is eating him. Also, we can see that he has a skull. Uh, I've been told that that indicates that he is, like, on his last legs. He's very, very low on health. Also good news, because it means he couldn't have really eaten or slept that much. Uh, if he's still this low on HP. It's like he's dining on, like, big mosquitoes or something. This is a nasty spot to have to fight him, though. Because that poison's gonna wind up covering a lot of the surface area of this stump. This is good, though. This is okay. 
Oh, Flub is poisoned now. Flub is not. Got our mark going. Can we? Ah, I missed it. So I didn't get them out. This is gonna be a hard one because it's also hard to maneuver in the air here. Well, it works out. Uh, how do I climb back up without getting poisoned? That was... okay. Just need to do a little bit more. He's making that as difficult as possible. <laughs> ah, there it is. Okay, we're gonna jump down. Not Nullberry. Ah, there's my antidote. Oh shit, that takes a long time to drink. Uh, let's try again. <gasps> Whoa! I've never seen that tongue attack go that far. Also, that sucks! That is the first time I have fainted to a monster. If you need help, use your SOS and it's to, to a stupid little Puke Puke that I've already killed once. <laughs> Aw. This is fun. Should let us get back to it pretty quick as well. There's that Anjanath. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Wanna go up here? I'm just gonna follow the scout flies back. Oh, I love that I'm having fun with this game. Like, I... I, I sensed that itch. Like, there was something that I knew was compelling in that quick look. I just had, like... It's not a very great first hour or so, but like I saw the appeal and now I can actually have fun with it. Oh, it had time to sleep. Whatever. This is not good. It still has a skull, which is nice. Okay, let's be a little bit smarter about our antidote usage. Yes! Anjanath. Help me out here. Distract him long enough for me to get that potion off, or that antidote off, and this potion. That's all he needed to do. And now he pieces out. That's fine. I didn't even... He had one hit left. One hit. I fainted, and he had, like, a couple of points of damage left on him. <laughs> However, this is fine. As long as we get our quill, the last quill I need for, uh, level one. Puke Puke Glaive. I'll be happy. So we're going to skin this thing right on up. And clip inside the monster's body. <laughs> uh, so we have... That was something that I was also confused about in the initial quick look. Was the timer up there? That's the timer before you are returned to uh, Camper HQ from your... Oh, it has wings? Okay, maybe the Anjanath design is a little bit cooler than I thought. Now that I see those plates on his back open up into into wings or something. Yeah, I'm out of here. Can't do shit to me. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm liking this game a lot now. I think it's got user interface problems for sure uh but overall i'm having a good time and we're not completely done yet i still don't completely understand all of this but that's fine there's a lot to dig into but i'll i'll get it in time for now all that matters is i'm having a good time but we still want to go back because I want to complete this loop and forge my fancy new weapon. I love that tweet that I saw uh, not too long ago. The Shadow of the Colossus. This monster is majestic. Its death is sad. We're on the hunt. Monster Hunter World. Kill this monster to make a hat. <laughs> I thought this would take me back to camp I just have to return from the expedition it sucks that it's like it's basically one extra loading screen it's not too bad though
Oh, I'm so excited to get this glaive. I think it does the same base damage as my current one, which is the uh, the Kulu level one. But this one has a bunch of poison damage on it. And Snack has been advocating for me to go this route with my uh, insect glaive. I think the idea is because the insect glaive tends to hit so many times so rapidly that poison works really well on it because it builds up so quickly due to all the hits. Uh, so we're going up here up the stairs and the forge is right on the right. So yeah, I would say this quick look uh, is quite a bit more positive, <laughs> positive as my palicos would say. Okay, go down to Insect Leave and Puke Puke Tree. We have all our materials, we have Zenny enough. I do not know why I can't craft it. Uh, maybe I have to forge a new one because I can't go down any more trees with the one I currently have. Ah, uh, you no maybe. I do not know. Help me out in the comments. I don't understand things. <laughs> oh well, we'll figure this out eventually. One more time though, just to make sure I didn't miss something. Unless I have to go into that that mystery tree first, and it has to be like a smooth progression from one to the other. I have no idea. That's gonna do it. For uh, we'll end with me confused just like last time. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one.